So apparently we have a new king in the open source AI community. It's called Smog 72B, 72 billion parameter and was released by the Abacus AI team. It has quickly become the new king of open source AI because it outperformed GPT 3.5 and the previous top open source model, which was Mistral in various benchmarks and something that I'm going to walk you through in a couple of seconds. The model itself is a fine tuned version of Quen 72 billion parameter, which is a model that was trained by Alibaba Cloud. The great part about the Quen 72B model is that it has 32K character context length, which can allow you to generate lengthy text, which is also something that you can do on the Smog 72 billion parameter model. The fact that the model itself has like 72 billion parameter, it surpasses models like GPT 3.5 and Mistral. And performance wise, it has achieved the score of 80 on the Hugging Face LLM leaderboard, which is the first open source model to reach this milestone. And you can see the rank here. The score is 80.48. And then if you scroll to the right, you will see the parameters that these models are rated on. So they are basically rated on the model size. And these are measured in billions of parameters ranging from smaller models and to those with 70 plus billion parameters. Then the performance where the team tests things like understanding, reasoning and generating text. The third one is zero shot and few shot learning. So the evaluation here is focused on the model's ability to perform tasks with zero shot and few shot learning, which means making predictions or generating text with few or without any sort of examples provided in the first place. The team also tests these models on the real world use cases that are specifically based on creative writing, customer support, confidentiality, and even toxicity. Fifth one is hallucination. So measures how often the model generates false or misleading information, which is critical aspect of model evaluation. And finally, the throughput and the latency, which means how long long it takes for the model to respond. So we just talked about the parameters that Hugging Face uses to kind of calculate the final score. And these are the parameters for each of the different models. So you can see GPT 3.5, Gemini Pro, Mistral and Mistral Medium model. And then there's the Smog 72 billion parameter. Smog 72 billion parameter performed really well. To give you a quick definition for each of these parameters, MMLU is basically massive multitask language understanding, which basically tests the machine's ability to understand and answer questions across a broad range of topics. Think of it like an exam that consists of all subjects from say math to history. So the next parameter, which is Hella Swag, is basically a test of the model to see if it can predict the most sensible continuation of a given scenario. So it's more like common sense reasoning and complete the sentence if I may. ARC is the reasoning challenge where you would evaluate a model's reasoning abilities. And it's more like a multiple choice question that require complex reasoning to answer those questions. Vinograd scheme challenge is basically where a model's understanding of pronoun resolution is tested. And the goal here is for the model to understand the correct model to correctly interpret pronouns, which requires a deep understanding of the context itself. As for GSM 8K, it's basically math problem models ability to provide truthful and factual answers. So you can see on all of these parameters, Smog performed really well, except for one parameter parameter here where Mistral performed really well. But again, both of these are open source model while GPT 3.5 and Gemini Pro are not. I'm very confident that this is the year 2024 is the year where we'll get GPT 4 level open source model and will potentially be a year where it becomes mainstream. A few days back, Meta's founder Mark Zuckerberg also announced his open source AGI initiative. So they are very actively working on AGI. Whenever it goes out, it's going to go out as open source, which is a great win for the community itself. The model itself is available to play around and download on the Hugging Face page. So you can see there are safe tensors here. So you can easily play around and test the model for yourself. Without a doubt, seems to be the best performing model so far. I'm going to make a comparison video very, very soon. But for now, I'm really excited for what this has to offer next. We all thought Mistral was going to be like the best model, but here we go. We have a better model already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next